Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Free Match Monday once again, and I'm your director of fun, Mike Quackenbush. One of the major stories of season 18 has been the hotly contested and much coveted Young Lions Cup. And for this Young Lions Cup title defense, we go back to the Chikaratopia exclusive program, The Hour of Power, where we saw champion Hermit Crab meet the challenge of Razorhawk. Quick note about our scoring system here at Chikara. You know you need three points to challenge for the Grand Championship. Razorhawk comes into this with one point already. Picked that up in North Carolina over Mr. Azerbaijan. Now in a Young Lions Cup title match like this, just to be clear, those points are not at stake. So if Razorhawk were to lose in his bid to become a Young Lions Cup champion this afternoon, he will not lose that point he accumulated down in North Carolina. Lots on the line for both of these guys. It's been a real hot potato, the Young Lions Cup this season. Very true. Hermit Crab winning it from Silverhawk, so perhaps a little bit of revenge on the mind of Razorhawk. Mm -hmm. The two circling each other. While they are even in the height department, the Hermit Crab is a bit heavier. It carries almost 25 full pounds over Razorhawk. And the Hermit Crab, of course, has been on the active roster quite a bit longer than Razorhawk. The Cyberhawks, woo! What a head scissor from Razorhawk. This guy, very, very talented high flyer. Keep your eye on Razorhawk from the middle strand. Tumbling right out with a swanton of sorts onto the Hermit Crab from a seated position. Impressed. Razorhawk, of course, known for his speed. He's going to try to use as much of it as possible here. And perhaps going to fly. Huge Tope Con Hilo wipes out the reigning Young Lions Cup champion on the unforgiving floor of the Wrestle Factory. I think Razorhawk will leave nothing in the back this afternoon in order to capture the Young Lions Cup. The Razorhawk's got to get him back in the ring if he wants a shot at that cup. Razorhawk looks like he's going to try it one more time. Razorhawk! Oh man, he hit the hermit crab, but also his head and neck hit the floor. And I think Razorhawk got the worst of that one. It looks like he turned it into a power bomb. Oh, and now again on the apron. These high risk moves, you really see the chance for them to backfire. Even though Razorhawk's legs and even posterior connected with the hermit crab, the brunt of the fall was on the floor, and then the Hermit Crab was able to recover and power bomb, and now slam Razorhawk out on the apron of the ring. That high risk move really backfired on Razorhawk because of a distance probably no more than 12 inches. Very true, and I think people may be underestimating the power of the Hermit Crab. Yeah, he is a deceptively strong competitor. I recall this from his training days. Razorhawk trying to reach up. I don't think he can suplex the Hermit Crab out of the ring. He does not have the leverage given the positioning. The leverage here favors the Hermit Crab, who just dragged Razorhawk back into the ring. Up and over, dropping him from the second rope into the cover. Wow. Very close near fall there after four hard falls on his back. The first being out on the floor. Two on the apron, and then that superplex-like move that brought him back into the ring. The back of Razorhawk has been severely damaged, and you know that favors the Hermit Crab, because all of his crab submission holds, Boston Crab, Flat Crab, they all affect the lower back. Oh, and you can tell that the Hermit Crab knows the damage has been done, targeting the back there. Yeah, he will be relentless in the application of his in-ring strategy. He's going to proceed directly to one of those crab variations, and he wants a tap-out win for his Young Lions Cup defense today at the Hour of Power. There he goes again, just targeting that back, driving the shoulder into the spine. Herman oh. Crab has drawn a bullseye on the back of Razorhawk, and it's been all Hermit Crab for the last minute or two, Scott. Yes, it has. It takes him over. Hermit Crab planning something. Ooh, for a second there, I thought he wanted to exploit the pressure point. But you know, that pressure point does not necessarily weaken the back. That kick sure did, though. Very true. 
You can see the methodical planning here of the hermit crab. That slow, almost scuttling pace. The hermit crab has Razorhawk at bay. And Razorhawk can barely manage to throw a couple open-handed blows. Sent for the ride by the hermit crab. That clothesline was just a little too high, as was that back elbow. Look at him go right into the waiting arms of the hermit crab, where he got a spine buster for into his the trouble. Cover. That right shoulder barely came up off the mat this time. You can feel hope slipping through the fingers of Razor Hawk. And you see, with each pinfall, it's not so much frustration, but just calculating, thinking what he's going to do next to exploit that injury. Driving the knee into the lower lumbar region is the Hermit Crab, who continues to punish the lower back. You can be certain he's thinking about using one of his crab holds to finish off Razor Hawk while continuing to wear him out with simple things like repeated covers that make Razorhawk kick out. Controlling the head now, backing him against those ropes yet again. Cutting off some of the air supply. Not giving Razorhawk a moment of rest. No, he's really smothering him, as we like to say in the wrestling parlance. Don't give your opponent a moment to breathe. One deep breath sometimes can make the difference in a match. Oh, he sloughed him off. He wanted a DDT and he couldn't get it. Hermit Crab basically sloughed him right off. Razorhawk trying to get something going, but no. He's got him by the throat. Boy, it's been a series of unlucky events for the Razorhawk. That tope con hilo that really didn't connect completely out on the floor completely changed the complexion of the match. Choke slam, could this be it? Two and no, only two. And you can see with each kick out from Razorhawk, there's a little bit less authority behind them. Mm -hmm. See him wiggling his fingers, trying to get some feeling, some sensation back into his extremities is Razorhawk. Oh boy, he is in a bad, bad way. From the interlocked front chancery, Hermit Crab. What's he gonna do to Razorhawk? Oh, look at this. This is the first mental error the Hermit Crab has made the entire match. His plan had been working to perfection until now, but taking exception to a couple jibes from the audience is always a mistake. Stay focused. Razorhawk has an extra man out there in the Chikarmi. Letting him get to his feet. Razorhawk, this is his opportunity. He's got to get something going. He had time there to draw six, eight, ten breaths while the Hermit Crab was distracted by a couple comments from the Chikarmi, and he ran right into a clothesline that just about separated his head from his shoulders. Cover, one, two, and... Only two, very, very close. A momentary lap from the Hermit Crab did give Razor Hawk an opportunity to rest, but he's right back into the game plan. And the last half dozen near falls have all been in the favor of the Hermit Crab. One more time from the interlock front chancery, he's picking him up and just dumps him. That wasn't even a suplex, that was just a throw. Once again, Razorhawk having to expend the energy to kick out, and that is about the least his shoulder blade has left the mat thus far. Just barely staying in it. Now cutting off that air supply using that bottom rope. Not only is the Hermit Crab doing a great job wearing down Razorhawk, but to be frank about it, I've never seen Razorhawk absorb this kind of punishment before and come back. And I feel like his opportunity to capture the Young Lions Cup is slipping away one devastating move at a time. Another drop right onto the back, spying first. Razorhawk staying in. Razorhawk knows what it would mean to hold the Young Lions Cup. He's given everything he's got to stay in this matchup. But I don't know how much longer he can do that. Yep, the Hermit Crab has used that suplex turn backbreaker to fantastic effect twice in this match already. Oh, he caught him with a great stunner variation. And look how Razorhawk's trying to get away from the Hermit Crab. Clear some distance, take a few breaths, and think to yourself, and this is always the hardest part after you've taken so much punishment, how do I get back to my game plan? Razorhawk trying to feed off the Chikarmi, trying to will himself back to his feet. Another shot to the back has basically halted the forward momentum of Razorhawk. No less than the eighth consecutive near fall in the favor of the Hermit Crab. 
Hermit Crab firmly in control. The pendulum has swung completely in his direction, despite two very brief flurries from the Razorhawk in this Young Lions Cup title contest. Trying to fire out of this. Throwing strikes, anything he can do to get loose. And a huge leaping lariat took the Hermit Crab down. But look, he can't follow up. Razorhawk is flat on the mat. Yeah, Razorhawk is known for that fast pace, and he just can't get back into it. Now, if he can't take enough breaths, I mean, look, he's peeling himself up off the mat at this point. Razorhawk looks like he's going to try to go to that top rope. He's a high risk, but high reward. Will he be able to hit it? Headed up to the top, but the Hermit Crab's already on Taking his feet. Taking a lot of time. Oh, he caught him! The Hermit Crab caught him out of midair! Unbelievable! And he just threw him right down onto the mat after catching that man out of midair. And if he's able to turn this Boston Crab over, Scott, I think it's all over. Razorhawk's back has withstood so much punishment and throughout it is. this match. Boston Crab, look at him sitting low on the lower back. Razorhawk, can he hold on? Will he be forced to submit? He's trying to power his way out of it, trying to get those ropes, trying everything he can. He doesn't have a whole lot of life left in him. Can Razorhawk make it to the bottom rope, or will he be forced to submit to the Boston Crab of the Young Lions Cup champion? He's making an adjustment here. Looks like a half crab now. He releases one of those legs, but it allows him to sit back a little bit farther. Oh. Razorhawk finally makes it to the bottom rope. And not a moment too soon, in my opinion. His lower back will not be able to withstand one more high impact blow or even another submission hold. Especially the way the Hermit Crab was using all of that five count, just sinking in the damage there. Smothering his opponent right back on top of Razorhawk, the reigning Young Lions Cup champion, Hermit Crab, does not want to give the high flyer the opportunity to execute another high risk move. More shots to the back. Hermit Crab knows exactly what he's doing here. <laughs> Razorhawk trying to get away. Fans want to assure you here, I know the hour of power is just about out of hour, but we aren't out of power. We will stay with this contest until its conclusion. Hermit Crab sends Razorhawk for the ride. It's a reversal in mid-ring, but not a lot behind that. No, it barely stunned the Hermit Crab, who elevates Razorhawk. Forearm has taken the starch out of the hawk. Oh man, what is the Hermit Crab thinking? We saw him use a superplex-like move before from this position. Looks like he's going for it again, scuttles into position. He's gonna try and drag Razorhawk back into the ring from up there. Man, this is a very dangerous spot they're in. Razorhawk able to hold that top rope. Fighting for all he's worth, huge leaping kick. He clipped him in the shoulder blade. I think he wanted the head, but didn't get it. How much can Razorhawk have left? He leaps in, he got caught out of mid-air. Down the back he goes, all the way through, into a folding press on top. He got he him, Scott! Razorhawk with a folding press and Jackknife Bridge wins the Young Lions Cup. Crab can't believe it, to be honest, neither can I.